Yep, that's good. Piece of junk. All right, y'all. Well, in honor of turkey season today, me and my buddy Kevin Riley are out here. We're going to test out some shotguns, okay? We got a 410, 20 gauge, two 12, tw how many 12 gauges? F five 12 gauges? All right, you can talk. Oh, sorry. Thank you. Kevin can talk. All right, when you go to Smoking Guns LLC in Mantachi, he, he, he will talk to you, I promise. Then we got us a bad to the bone little 410 <laughs> scout, CVA scout with an Invector choke. I have no idea what that means, but we're gonna find out what it does. We've got a single shot, 12 gauge, Stevens, two and three quarter, three inch, uh, B hell, shell, that's a shell. That says shell, not B hell, shell, all right? All right. Oh yeah, that's that's a bad little gun. But we're gonna find out if it's a bad little gun or not. All right, right now, I tell you what, that's gonna be a little secret for a little bit later in the video. So stick around and we got something that'll knock your sock i don't know it's just cool just stick around to the end of the video and we got something cool to show you all right i know everybody has range finders and i do too i forgot mine at the house so i'm going to use the old-fashioned range finder and step it off One, two, three, four, five, 27 28 29 30 good deal and another thing is i've got my gopro right here okay set up to have another angle and I'm a little bit nervous because those things ain't cheap if y'all hadn't priced them late recently. Y'all hope and pray that I don't shoot my dang GoPro. Cause that could... What happened? Staple. Okay. When, when you're stapling, never staple your finger, all right? Cause it hurts sometimes, all right? All right, guys, so the first one that we're gonna do is this CVA Scout uh, 410, all right, with the Invector Choke. So we're gonna go ahead and load this thing up. We're gonna shoot at 30 yards. So I'm hoping and praying I don't hit my GoPro down there because that thing's like $400. So that's a pivotal part of my hunting, filming. All right, anyway, here we go. This thing don't have a side on it. Uh, well, you just use the force. All right, sounds good. Here we go. Hey, that's a dead bird. That's a dead bird. I can see it from here, 30 yards, no sight. That's what I'm talking about, CVA Scout 410. There we go. All right, so no sight, okay? And we got one, two, three, four pellets in that bird's head at 30 yards with no sight. So you don't even need a sight for this gun, guys. All right, but I do think I aimed a little high. So we're gonna go back and I'm gonna shoot it again. I'm gonna aim a little lower. Oh, and by the way, it it, it does help to know I'm not shooting turkey load. So Kev said that was on the truck for tomorrow. So we're shooting lead shot. I don't think you can kill turkeys with, anyway, it doesn't matter. All right, let's go, come on. Reload. Dude, this is a bad little gun. I like it. You ready? Ready. I think I'm still a little high. So I think I'm still aiming a little bit high, but uh, when you don't have a side on it, you need to aim a lot lower than you think you're going to. Yeah, so I'm still hitting primarily one, two. I got like one other pellet up there. All right, let's do it one more time. I'm gonna aim a little bit lower, see what happens. You know what? We're not even doing, we're not even doing this right. This is not turkey load, so this is not realistic anyway. But what we did have is in honor of all of our women fans uh, and my wife, we have a wicker basket that was actually in the dump and we're just gonna shoot this at about 10 yards and see what the 410 does. Yep, that's good. All right, so. Still a little bit high, but that'll do the job. CVA Scout 410, I like it. Piece of junk. 
All right, it's got to turn this thing back on. Okay. All right. Hey, look here. Next gun, we're still on single shot mode. We got a 20 gauge single shot. Bottom lane chemo. Old school. Stevens model 301 20 gauge, two and three quarter and three inch shells. So we're going to give it a go. Oh, hey, by the way, look right here. This is going to be actually a turkey hunting video. Okay. Well, excuse me, a turkey hunting review of this shotgun. We're shooting Federal Premium 20 gauge, third degree TSS 18GC. I think it's one and a half shot, five, six, seven shot, thousand feet. I don't know any of this. I just buy shells and throw them in my gun, hope and pray that the bird gets within 50 yards. Okay. So that's what we're going to do. We got a new target. So we're going to start shooting. I really hope and pray that I don't shoot my, my GoPro out there. Good. That ain't sounded. Look up. Oh, here we go. NWTF. NWTF. It does not stand for something ugly for you people that don't hunt. Here we go. All right. Nope. You can't do that. All right. Hit it. Wipe the shell off. Give it the old blow go. And you're ready to go, go. All righty. We have a sight, ladies and gentlemen. We have a sight. All right. Here we go. I'm gonna aim at the base of the red on that turkey's neck. Good Lord have mercy. Good Lord have mercy. End of that turkey. Looks like dinner. Hold on, did you hear that? Did I just hear a turkey? Did I just hear a hen yelping? Look y'all, I know it's not turkey season here in Mississippi, but we may actually have a live action video for y'all, okay? Keep on, keep on, woo, 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 woo. That's what I'm talking about. Dude, did you hear that? Like, I'm almost positive I heard a hen yelping. Lord be with me. Don't, don't let me do it, don't let me do it. As we can see, at 30 yards, that turkey's dead. So, I'm gonna move the GoPro for this one because we're gonna back up. We're gonna back up to 40 yards now. Ten, plus 10, okay. And it always helps to have people that, you know, have got all this stuff for you, okay? So, that way you don't have to buy it. It's, it's called using, abusing relationships, all right? All right, we're at 40 yards now. We got the same ammo, we got the same gun. We'll see how it does at 40. You're gonna shoot from here? Yeah, it'll be all right. You worried about that Jeep? Look, y'all comment in here and think if this is smart or unwise, not smart. There are several ways you can say it to shoot right here where I'm at. Here we go. Gotcha. Oh. We're gonna have to shoot it at 50. I can see from here that that bird was dead yesterday. Good gosh, I love that gun. 40 yards, single shot, 20 gauge, TSS, look here. We got one, two, three, four. I hadn't figured out much of that after after four. We hadn't got to that part in my son's educational training. Uh, I know we got one in the beak, okay? So that'll kill a turkey and a lot of other things too. We need a new target. We gotta get a new target, man. Get, whoa, wait a minute, cuz. Hold up. Dad, kill him. Oh. Let's see. All right. I am ready. 50 yards. Well, I know I hit the target. So we'll see how many BBs got on it at 50 yards. Ah. 
gonna hit my shell or my uncle's gonna kill me. Mm, that's almost him. like meth. I don't know what meth's like, but I would assume it's something like, we'll just take that part out of it. <laughs> It's the tail all right here. What's it gonna do at 50 yards? 20 gauge, CVA Scout. No, nope, oh, uh, Stevens model, my bad. Anyway, you get that, it, look, it looks like this. Just go by and get it. Look here. Holy, that's a dead bird. That is a dead bird. And a lot of this is probably gonna be user error. But with user error at 50 yards, with a freaking 20 gauge. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight kill shots. That's probably not a kill shot. I don't know, it may be, it may cause them to bleed out. But either way, seven to eight kill shots at 50 yards with a dead gum 20 gauge. I could take this thing like 20 miles. I'm not walking 20 miles, but I can, I, this is lighter than the gun I use, okay? and. Looks like you only need one shot, so. So, I uh, forgot about this. This is a big part of it. This is a extra full nothing. It's a choke, but it just says EF on it, okay? I'm gonna say it comes with a gun, and it does the trick. And the next one we got is this Winchester SXP. All right, you see right there. All right, this is in Mossy Oak. It's in Mossy Oak. All right, yeah. anyway, here we go. We got a pump, Winchester Super X pump, 20 gauge, shoots two and three quarter and three inch, in Vector Plus, 24 inch barrel. So we don't have an actual extended turkey choke on this one, but because it's an NWTF edition, I think, it doesn't say it. Maybe I made that part up. It's a turkey gun, so maybe it's already got one in it. Either way, we're gonna start off at 40 and then we're gonna move. We're done shooting anything under 40, okay? So let's pop one in. I'm gonna shoot at 40. And I'm gonna shoot this one standing up. So let's get to it. Got you. Does okay with wood. Okay, looks like we're going to 50. Let's see, let's see what this bad boy is gonna look like at 50 without a extra full turkey choke, by the way. Keep that in mind. Alrighty. I can see we hit it. But I gotta be honest, I think I shot to the left a little bit right at the last second. So, I'm a little nervous, but let's go up and see it. Even with user error. One, two, three, four, five, five in the head. Five in the head, six, 50 yards, not even an extra full turkey choke. Smoking Guns LLC, baby. Mantachi, Mississippi. Now we got a Stevens model 12 gauge, two and three quarter, three inch shell. So we're gonna see what this bad boy does. This is pretty bad to the bone. And now we're shooting, we're gonna shoot this right here. You see this? We're shooting golden turkey nickel plated lead shot. Is that even legal? Got a turkey on it. That is a very good point. Um, this is strictly for a review about this. This is not exactly what you should do. So if there's any green jeans watching, I'm not gonna be shooting this. Even though I probably could. I, I don't know. Anyway, all right, this is what we're shooting. 12 gauge, three inch, one, three ounce, four shot. All right, there's like four BBs in this thing. I think that's what four shot means. You got four BBs. No. No, it's not, that's, anyway. And then our second shot with this is gonna be with the Remington Nitro Turkey right there behind it. And it looks like with this, it's gonna be 12 gauge, two and three quarter, four shot, it's one and a half ounce. And we're shooting 50 yards because anything less than that with 12 gauge is 
Come on, it's pathetic. All right, not really, but I just like shooting long distance with a shotgun. This is the Nitro Fiocchi, Fiocchi, whatever. 50 yards. All righty, good Lord have mercy. I gotta, gotta do something about that in my back. Well, the gun popped out of my, my lead hand, so I can already tell it's got a, a, a pretty decent little spread, so let's go up there and check it out. Forgot to mention this as well. This also comes with these extra full, I'm sure it's just gonna say EF, turkey chokes. Yep, I'm seeing an E and an F. Yep, that's it, right there. So that's gonna help, but as you can see on the turkey, this is still a dead bird, I believe. If he's not, his beard shot off. That's not necessarily a great thing, but he's either dead or he's wounded enough to where I can get up and chase after him and either get another round or pick him up and strangle him. We're gonna try the two and three quarter. I don't expect this to go well, okay? Because if four shot did that with three inch, I'm gonna say two and three quarters not gonna do any better. That's why I like to shoot nine shot, Kevin. All right, now the Remitan, two and three quarter. Alrighty. 50 yards, two and three quarter. Let me tan, four shot. Pretty sure that I shot him in the breast. I can see some pellets in the breast, but I, I don't think that's gonna be a dead bird. So we'll see. Ah. Well, I'm gonna tell you what now, between all of this right here, and one, two, three, right in there. That may be a dead bird. Like I said, he may not be dead, but you know, he, he might have to get on a little, a little foot action on my end and uh, chase after him and grab a hold of him. This is about killing turkeys, okay? We know it's not all glorious and we're not all out there. Get the perfect shot angle, okay? Boom, yeah, a million, I mean, look, we're trying to kill turkeys, y'all just like me, okay? You do what you can to kill a turkey. And I think that's gonna kill a turkey. So I'm okay with it. All right, let's go. Yeah, here we go. This is for all you men out there. I'm just kidding. All right, I'm, I'm married to a woman. Happily, I might add. It's time for the big guns, because I am hot. You ever seen anything like this? Good Lord, have, wait a minute, what's that? I can have that, God damn it. This right here, is defective. Never mind. Hey, you just got to play with it a little bit, okay? Look, this is a triple barreled mm, Chiapa. Charles Daly. Charles Daly. That's not spelled that way, but anyway. All right. Tw oh, here I we go. A okay. Little bit. Triple Magnum model, 12 gauge, two and three quarter, three inch, and the Big Daddy, three and a half. All right. Look, I'm going to tell y'all right now. If they had this back in the Revolutionary War, we'd be celebrating Independence Day, January 15th, 1714. Okay, all right, somewhere in there. But when was it? We're gonna have some fun with this, all right? We've been doing some, you know, some turkey targets in honor of turkey season here. I'm a big turkey hunter. There's nothing better for a gun like this than the real thing, okay? We wanna see what this will do on an actual bird. Y'all ready? Let's do it. This is not a lot. Look, all right. Did y'all really think I was going to put a turkey in a pen out there and shoot it? Okay, my, Pete would be here before we could get done shucking the shells. All right, but at one point in time, this was a live chicken and not a turkey because Tupelo's evidently sold out of turkeys and we got the next best thing. So well, if it'll kill a chicken. It's not turkey season. It's yet. not turkey season yet. That's this weekend. That's youth season or for you guys that identify as 15 years and under. So we're gonna see what it does on a daggum turkey breast. And two turkey breasts. Yeah, let's do that. And we are not wasting this either for video purposes because ants, worms, look, in the great words of Clint Eastwood, buzzers gotta eat same as worms, okay? We're feeding the wildlife here. So don't freak out, he's wasting a chicken. Well, I'm not doing that. Ugh. Oh, 
All right, so that's not gonna work. Let's do it this way. All right, thank you, Heritage Farms. Yeah, I'm thinking 20 yards on this because I want to see this thing explode. Can you shoot all three barrels at the same time? No. They knew we would try it, so they only put one trigger. Oh, man. Oh, uh, we gotta love America. Yeah, baby, I'm so excited. And what better than an illegal brand of turkey load? Let's do it. Okay, here we go. I really feel like this is a need for everyone in their home. You know, whether it's for whatever, hunting or not. I mean, you just, oh, right here. This is 10 yards. Is that a fridge? Is that an old fridge? Hold on. Hold on. It's not a fridge, but it is an old shower bathtub. We're definitely going to shoot that after this with the other, with the other shot, trigger, whatever. Okay. Hey, you're going to need these. Thank you. Okay. Let's do it. All right. We got everything set up. Let's go. Hey, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. hang on. What? I got something special only for the shooting this gun. You, you have to have special ear pro. It requires it. Are you serious? It's in the instructions. Well, if it's in the instructions, okay. They work? All right, let's do it. All right, we're about 12 steps right here from the turkeys. Chickens, once were chick still chickens, not alive, but it is a real thing. Safety's off. Ah, okay, let's see how we do here. You just pull the trigger, boom, boom, boom. Boom, 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 baby. boom, boom. Here we go. Clockwise. All righty. <laughs> yes. Oh, I don't have words, but I don't have words for this. That right there, folks, is a Trinella style rotisserie. Is that right? Does that make sense? Now, let's shoot this bathtub. About 20 yards right here from the bathtub. Let's see what it does this bathtub. All right. All right, here we go. You got another one of these at the store that I could, uh, I could have? Maybe. Okay. We'll right. see. We'll talk later. Man, I wish they would have issued us these in the Marine Corps. Ooh, mama. Even if that does give me cancer later, I'd... In the box. In the box. In the box. Kev just told me something I had no idea about right here. This gun, well, I'm gonna let you tell it. Go ahead. Yeah, we got on this Charles Daily. We've got modified, full, improved cylinder. It also comes with a improved full and full. So uh, you can take your pick what you want coming out the end of this thing. I like it. There we go. Hey, wait a minute. I'm on me. This is the most exciting gun that I have today to shoot. This is a triple barrel, short barrel, Charles Daly, because it says Chiapas, so I'm gonna say it's Charles Daly. 410, a 410, like, this is, I don't know, man. Let's just go shoot it. Is this also like boom, boom, boom? Boom, 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 baby. Boom, 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 here we go. Wait a minute, we got some pineapples to get. This is how you play Fruit Ninja in real life with 410 triple barrel. Yeah. Oh yeah. And we're about 10 yards, okay? So we're gonna step up and see if we can't dice these bad boys up. I like pineapple. <laughs> Good Lord. <laughs> we might need to back up. Oh, right. oh right in here, folks. I'm gonna set these back up right here and just see them explode. Let's do it right here. Like three yards, five yards, five, six, seven, I don't know. Anyway, if you came here for exacts, <laughs> and obviously you made it this long in a video, this is not your exact kind of page. Good to go. And 410 triple barrel. Oh, that's good. Where'd you get that pineapple from? 
and uh, Tupelo. Thanks, Tupelo. That is so good. We might just do a five minute video eating pineapple. Well, anyway, there you have it. Thank you so much to Kevin Riley, Riley Auto Tire, and Smoking Guns LLC. It's the same business, okay? Uh, you can get your oil changed and buy a gun or look at guns while you're getting your oil changed or your motor rebuilt, whatever the case. So he got all the guns that we shot. Go online, look up his YouTube, or, uh, Facebook and Instagram. Yeah. There we go. I got pineapple all over me. Yeah, go and check him out on all the social media stuff. And if you want a gun, like I said, or get your oil changed, just holler at Kevin Riley. Riley Auto Tire, Smoking Guns LLC in Mantachie, Mississippi. I appreciate y'all tuning in. Leave us a comment. Tell us how you liked the video and what we can do next. So turkey season's coming up. Hope to have some good footage for y'all. We'll see y'all.